A product review of the George Foreman individual grill. A lot of us bought these things many, many years ago. Uh, Foreman made a fortune off of this thing. I don't know if he still owns the copy uh, or the, the trademark for it or patent. Um, that's the box. Um, it's going to be a tough review. I just went down to the store to buy this thing. My dog's got some serious problems. She uh, she lost her vision and we put her on prednisone, which the vision came back. We don't, I don't know how much, but the vision came back. And she ended up getting a bile duct infection, and because she was on prednisone, the immune system couldn't fight it. So she's on lots of medications now trying to save her life. And she needs her second dose. There she is. Hey, sweetie. She needs her second dose of her nighttime dose of her antibiotic which I can't give so thankfully the vet is helping me out with the morning meds but I just went out and bought the Foreman grill because we have a stove here that caught on fire a couple days ago and this burner over here and the new one's coming in a couple days but I want to cook some meat and hopefully hide the medication in there which hasn't been effective that's why I'm getting help from the vet so we're gonna do a review of the Foreman grill I'm probably just gonna set it up show you my meat cooking and hopefully I can hide her med in there tonight I bought lamb, ground lamb, ground uh, boar, and ground, um, I don't know what I bought, I think it was elk. So I just came home and I went and walked her and she is definitely blind now. She kept the vision for about two weeks, hey, 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 after the medication. I don't think she has any vision, I could be wrong, but she's doing a lot of sniffing. She normally walks down the steps at the front porch and she struggled with it like she did a few months ago when she lost her vision until we got it back. So this is a tough day for me. It's very tough, very emotional, but I'm going to do this review, set up this grill, try to cook the lamb. At least I can't get her vision back anymore, but hopefully we can get her body. Hey, 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 stop licking that pan. <laughs> you, you silly girl, you. Oh, I just love you. I love you. Okay, she's going to get groomed tomorrow, but I'm going to set this up and try to cook the lamb. Maybe I can hide the pill in there. Well, I can't hide the pill. I have to grind it up. That's the whole problem. She is too smart. After that, she doesn't fight them. They're able to pill. She fights them a little. They're able to throw the pills on her throat. Stop that! Stop that! What are you doing? Behave! Come on now. Stop eating junk off the floor. This house is filthy. I moved into my mom's house to be a caregiver. That's a nightmare. And then the dog lost her vision. And now, you know what's going on. So here we go. It's on the counter, this thing is about as cheap as can be. It's got a little grip pan. They saw another one, this is 25 bucks. They saw another one for 60 that's got re removable trays. The original had removable trays. This thing, you can hear, this is junk, but I, I need to cook something right now. I need to cook her food. So, um, I'm surprised I didn't have a hot plate. Maybe I could get one at a, at a, um, hardware store, but Target didn't have a hot plate, so I'm going to be cooking some of this lamb now. I don't know that she's going to eat it. I have no idea. I was feeling a little better. The vet called up and said, Ooh, that smells like this thing's on fire. Yikes. Who does that smell? God, that reeks. I don't know what the chemical is that they put on there. I, you can't really, I don't know how you wash this. I don't know how you remove the grills. Of course, I'm a guy, haven't read the instructions. Um, you got a red light and a green light and both of them are on. Boy, does that smell. That's typical though, when you buy these things, you plug them in. And whatever coating's on the metal. Definitely hot. It goes back a little bit further than I want. Let's put this on the floor. Um, yeah, I was in a really good mood. Not a good mood, but a happy. Now look at this. The grease thing keeps coming off. It's such a piece of garbage. Man, look at this. I might be returning this. This is ridiculous. Is that it? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. 
I was all happy about the dog that at least things are better than I thought. They're not great. I don't know that she's going to live. I don't know that she's going to die. Let me unplug this so I don't shock myself. Plug it back in. I don't know if both lights are supposed to. Okay, so what do we have? We got the red light on, green light's off. So, I guess it really doesn't matter at this point. I just want to get this meat cooked, see if it, she'll take her pills in there. Um, this meat is uh, $10. The other stuff I bought, the elk and the boar, $22 each. But I'll do anything to save this dog's life. So I've got to start medicating her. I can't medicate. I can't give her the pills. That's the whole problem. And she wasn't eating for over. She was barely eating for a week. So how do you give a dog pills in their food when they're not eating their food? It's just been a. a and then the whole thing with uh, being a caregiver for my mom. And that's that's a nightmare in itself. No, there's no beauty or, or joy in any of that. It's a nightmare. It's it's frightening. So the green light's on. Um, I'm just going to try to get this meat in here and see if I can brown it somehow. I don't know how, but this is all I've got right now. So I was all excited about the dog doing good, and then I come home, and she's not acting right, and then I go to take her for a walk. And that's why I say she is definitely blind. She's lost her vision again. So I'm just trying to make it through life. Trying to get through all of this. And there's one thing after another. It's time. I probably should have cooked only half of this because there's not enough room to do all of it. That stink. I don't really like cooking ground beef. I don't. I'm not, I can eat a hamburger, but I'm not a favor of ground beef. It just stinks. Cooked meat, the smell of burned food, it's disgusting. So, this is kind of nice that at least I'm getting something done. Again, I should probably be removing some of my meat off the grill because there's not enough room to cook all of this. I remember with the old Foreman grills, the originals, you'd make a hamburger and the grease would go dripping off the drip pan. And you put it over the sink and try to catch it that way, but then you plug your, your, your plumbing. This drip pan is worthless. They've all been terrible. A little pressure down there to get this thing cooking a little bit. I could probably just leave it in here for a little bit and let it cook. I mean, watch it. See what it's doing. It's like with a hamburger. But when you make a hamburger on this thing, it usually cooks on the outside and not on the inside. So it's going to do the same thing with this lamb, ground lamb that I have here. But for me, like I said, all I'm hoping is the dog likes it. If she does, I'm going to try to put her evening dose of pill in here that I haven't been able to give her since they told me to. She gets her pills in the morning from the, from the bat. Okay, so this is working out a little better than I thought. I just wish this was bigger. But I could have also spent three times as much to buy the bigger bread. So there you go. Now it's now the, now the fat, the schmaltz, the grease is starting to drip off. 
sounds like the uh, thing stopped cooking or heating. I don't know. I could shut off the video and make this a two minute review. But, yeah. hey, oh, I almost, I didn't know she was in here. I don't think she could, she's licking, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. She's licking my hand. She did this the day she went blind. I didn't know what was going on. I walked her. We got to the corner. We had a great walk like always. And I turned around to go home. And she dug her paws into the ground and wouldn't move. And I didn't know what was happening and I picked her up. And the vet thought it was her legs or her walking. Don't be so scared, little girl. I'm going to be here for you for your life. I'll be here for you. She might have some vision, I don't know. She might have some shadowing, she might have something. I don't know. Then we went from a walk to the doctor, to the ophthalmologist, to an MRI, to prednisone. There's so much fat on here that I need to drain and the counter is Let's see if I can do this. It's working. It's a piece of junk. It's working. It's doing what I needed to do. It's still a piece of junk. And I know you could heat something up in here. You could put a, a hamburger patty. The size of this is absolutely ridiculous. It is. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's try to keep this burner on here now for a while. And the fat's dripping off. Yeah, I can, I'm watching right now. They give you about a three inch, three inch. Oh, ladies, okay, she's walking right behind me. They give you about a three-foot cord. I don't even think, it might be a four-foot cord. She's sitting right next to me. I think she's scared out of her mind because she can't see. <laughs> She'll be fine. They tell me she's licking my hands. It's gross when I pick her up. When I take her to the vet to keep her mind occupied, I spit on my hand and she licks the spit off of it and it keeps her occupied for a good 10-15 minutes. Ugh, you got so much dirt on you, you're getting groomed tomorrow. Ugh. The whole thing was, I was supposed to move in here, help my mom out with her age. Live here when she passed. Me and the dog were going to be living in the house. The dog loved running up and down the hallway. We'd go as fast as could be, go in the living room, run around the table, under the glass, around the table. It was just incredible. My mom said, I want you to live in here so the dog will love the house. My mom loses her mind with more dementia and goes bonkers. And then the dog goes blind and it's one thing after another. Yeah, if this thing, if I, what I, if this would have, blah, 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 this would have worked if I, oh my God, I'm making a big mess. There's grease all over the back. It's probably on the countertop now. It's dripped past the grill. If I would have put half the meat in here, this would have been fine. Would I buy it again? I bought it because I needed to. I, I really needed to. I want. I, I need to. I need to start pilling this dog at night. We need to get her body, her blood numbers down. And if I can't do it, they just say, if you can't do it, you can't do it. If your dog's gonna die, she's gonna die. There's nothing we can do if you can't pill her at night. So now that she's back to eating, I'm gonna see what I can do. With the vision, I thought it was a big struggle. She had a tiny little itty bitty pill for her eyes. And I was struggling with that every day. She made it a, just a night, where are you? She made it a nightmare for me. 
to give her a tiny little bit. Tiny. Where I had to hide it in all these different foods and try to trick her. It, and now she's on six different pills in the morning. I can't do that. I couldn't do it with one. This part is not cooking. The part at the edge is not cooking. You can see it's all red. Oh boy. Grease everywhere, dripping back. It's not dripping. It. Oh God. This is a nightmare. Oh, I can see why, because the, the, the grill can't, the grill is, is closed on, from top to bottom on the meat at the, in the middle and the back, but not in the front. a huge gap so there's no way it's cooking in the front. For a hamburger this would be fine. One hamburger patty, a little piece of meat. Put your little piece of meat in here it would cook. But it's really not too practical. It's way too small. Um, $25 it's convenient. If you got a salmon patty or something. Hi, sweetie. I love you, girl. I love you. She's walking around. Um, giving a little hug to her. Yeah. Okay, you sit down. She's watching me. She's watching her. Well, I don't know what she did. She's looking up at the grill. She lost vision in the left eye. She was probably blind in the left eye longer than I knew and had vision in the right eye, but then she lost all vision, and when she was medicated with the prednisone, she gained vision in the right eye and not the left, and all of a sudden the left eye started having some vision. I'm looking at her right now and I'm saying the left eye looks better than the right, but I don't, what do I know? I just, all I know is I've got a dog that's blind and I'm struggling through life trying to help her. Trying to help my mom? No, you can't do that. That's, that's, that's not happening. That's just not going to happen. I think the meat is cooked. I don't know. I can't really tell. Let me cut into this. Do I want to keep this or do I want to return this? I know I'm, I'm getting use out of it. Am I getting $25 use out of it? I don't know. I'm not really thrilled with this thing. I think it's ridiculous. It, had they spent had they charged me another ten dollars and made this thing another couple inches wider, it would have been fine. And then I would have said, yeah, if it was wider and thirty dollars, this is twenty-four, as I said, if this was thirty-five bucks and wider, I would have bought it and kept it. But I'm looking at this thing thinking, except for a patty. And it might be good for a hamburger patty, probably, but I don't like the grease thing. I don't like any of this. Be careful, sweetie. She's right down on the floor next to me. I don't think she can see, but I don't really know. I w I'm surprised that she, yesterday, she, this morning, she jumped down the porch. And for the walk today, it's like she couldn't see it. She didn't even jump. She, she crawled because she knows what the porch is. He, she's done it enough. Now we're starting to get a nice grill on there. I think it's done everything it can do. I think the meat is cooked. I think the meat is cooked through. So what I'm going to do, let me look at that. So it did okay. I don't know if you can see over there. It, it, 
I don't know how long this video is. I've been cooking this, cooking my meat forever. And I'm going to unplug it now. Um, I'm going to put my hands on the, uh, putting my hands on the prong that was inside the outlet to see if it's hot. Because if it is, then that means that the outlet is not good or this thing's drawing way too much current. Again, here we've got, ow, the top of this thing is boiling hot. Yeah, I'm going to return this. I'm not going to keep this. This is, this could have been an incredibly good product. And again, if you're making a hamburger patty or a salmon patty or a little chicken filet, this might be fine. But the grease, the way they do the grease tray is just cheap as can be. That's how they made them. And there you go. That's my review of the Foreman Grill.